Sí, sí. Hi guys, welcome back to Elena's Valo Impact Full Body Workouts again. I'm right now with Piki. We are still hoping to hear from Melody if she's going to be back or not, but uh, we decided to dive in a little deeper and uh, talk about uh, the right thing, doing the right thing versus doing uh, the thing that the society or people want you to do or expect you to do. Uh, and we were talking about the content creators, how uh, they create content for their target audience, right? So the, the audience determines the flow of the channel, let's say in case of the YouTubers or even with the mass media, the audience determines how that media is going to approach certain topics, certain things, right, Pikia? Yeah. And um, yeah, um, whether it's the right message or the right content or you know, the right thing to talk about and um, how, how it how how it affects the the people in general okay yeah, yeah. uh elena if you if we look at ourselves as a human being we are all born the same way you know we we are born in a physical form we eat a lot of food we grow up become big physically mentally we acquire knowledge from our surroundings from our parents, from our teachers, relatives, brothers, sisters we grew up with. That's where we connect our, we collect our information from. That becomes our mindset. But when we are born, we are born with our own duties and our own essence. We know what we are and what are the right things to do and what our soul tells us to do. But sometimes we do things which are not our nature. We go against it. We are able to do it. But is it right or not? You have to answer yourself, you know. And along those lines, duties, there are seven duties in our life called seven dharmas, you know, with our essence. The very first is our vocational duty, our vocational dharma means that what is our true nature? What we are? We have to follow that true nature, you know. And the second is our natural dharma that take care of this body, take care of this mind, our emotions. We should exercise. We should eat good. Those are our natural dharmas. Third is the vocational, uh, our occupational dharma, our occupational duty, what are those duties? That we have a job in front of us we are doing, we should do it ethically right. Whether I am a news reporter or a cashier in a safe market or a, or a city mayor or a governor of a state, am I doing my duties according to the laws or the ethical laws which are in place in me, you know? Am I doing it right? That's our occupational dharma. If we don't do that right, it means we are going against our will, what we are supposed to do. And whenever we don't do our dharmas, our duties right, it's going to affect us eventually. So that's the most important part. And then the fourth dharma we have, the personal dharma, which is a relationship duties to our spouse, to our kids, to our neighbors, to our people, parents, and in-laws, and whosoever we have our in our life, we have responsibilities to them. If your dad calls you, you cannot say, hello, dad, okay, how are you? That done, no, that's not a talk. When your dad calls, you talk with them. You spend five, 10, 15 minutes. But when you go to your office, you see your secretary say, good morning. Yeah, that's enough for secretary. Not for dad, right? Secretary, your duty is done. Good morning, that's enough. You're not going to go spend time, 10 minutes talking with secretary. Unless you have a personal job you want her to do or something. 
you type a letter or, or something personal about relationship yeah. no you don't have a relationship with her well, just, in case you do you yeah. know <laughs> yeah unless you know that depends but you know that's your personal dharma you know and mm-hmm. after that is your uh is your community dharma that's the fifth one that your responsibility is to your society that you have to participate in the elections which are coming in november you have to if you are eligible to vote you should tell them what you think about it and you obey the traffic laws you obey the laws of the society where you live that's your community dharma you know you do those you don't go against it because then it's not right you know if you don't stop on a red light they're going to give you a ticket you know or you'll get yourself into an accident you have to obey his community laws you know yeah then after that community law the sixth uh, law is our our dharma which is like uh, like our we are on this planet you know we are all human beings so we have to help each other you know we are not we are not like you are from russia i am from india or someone from europe no we are all human beings we are all on one planet you know we are in different countries that's a different issue but we are not any different than what we are physically we eat the same food we sleep the same time we talk we do talk different languages but it means the same communication so we are on this planet all together so we have a responsibility if something happens in your country affects me you know because i feel bad as a human being that you shouldn't go through what you are going through you know it's it's i it, my sympathy is with you but i cannot do anything you know i can tell the mayor or the governor or the president of the country please help them do something so that they stop fighting all this but more than that i can't you know but i have a responsibility you know i have sympathy you know and after that the last thing is we have a spiritual dharma that is that that we have to know where we came from where we are going we have we have duties and responsibilities because we want to leave this planet in a good condition the way we accepted it you know we don't want to destroy the animals the creatures the plants and the and all those things around us so that when we leave there's not much of the planet left for the new generation to come because we are not the last generation on this planet there were thousands and thousands of generations before us and there will be so we want to keep this planet intact so we have a responsibility on this planet to know the spiritual life and to save the planet so that whatever we leave after we go is still intact is still in a good condition to live you know and we want to go spirit grow spiritually too you know to we want the answers where we came from where we going to go what we are doing here what's our purpose you know you have the same soul i have the same soul so you have the same body we have the same body it's just same thing you know what's the difference there's no difference you know? so based on these duties and dharmas whatever we do in our life should be the right to the best of my knowledge sometimes we do things unintentionally if it happens we we are sorry about that but intentionally we shouldn't say or do anything wrong to anyone don't guide them in the wrong direction no our responsibility yeah. is to guide ourselves and others in the right direction not for it's the right direction and there is one right direction and i see uh, a lot of delusion happening in people because when uh, they have a lot of uh, uh, people who follow them who appreciate what they are doing right and they are so delusional themselves they yeah. believe that uh, the world that they've constructed in their mind is the right world and then they are trying to guide everybody else into that direction that misleads other people yeah you know yeah. because when when this is the uh, world and society we live in right now you know everybody thinks that uh, there is no truth there is no objective reality 
Uh, some yeah. people do, but the minority, you know. When, yeah. When but, people uh, do this. For the most part, people are uh, so delusional, you know, the, the uh, mm, construction that they create in their brain affects them so much that they think that everybody else should do, if everybody else just follows what they did in their past, they're going to have the same result or similar result, you know. This is why because, they, you see like yeah. cookie cutter, you know, there is a cookie cutter and everybody is trying yeah. to achieve those fast results that people are promising them. Yeah, if you just manifest, you know, coming back to that manifestation, you know, just manifest and uh, uh, really uh, focus on your brain and try to bring it into life, you know, uh, uh, act like you are living as if you are already living in that reality. Yeah. What if that does never happen to you? You know, whatever you're trying to manifest, whatever you are trying to achieve in your life, what if it doesn't happen? Then you've already constructed your brain, you programmed your brain to get to that point. And what if it doesn't? What do you do next? Yeah, it is. It's a, that's it. You know, many, because that's it why does it, not just depend. Sorry, Piki, I'm just going to wrap it up here. It it doesn't uh, just depend on your thoughts. Uh, I care what you think, guys. If you bring a strong argument, but to be perfectly honest, on a global spectrum, your opinion, your um, uh, you know what you feel about certain things is irrelevant. It's irrelevant to the reality that you live in. You know. You can think whatever, you can uh, wish for whatever, but if, if it doesn't, if you don't do the action, if you're not the one who does the action, and if you are not the one who puts in effort into achieving that specific goal that you have in your mind, you're not going to achieve it. Or if you take credit for somebody else's work, as we've mentioned before in the previous video with manifestation. Yeah, you manifest, you manifest the things you want in your life. Somebody puts the work so that you get that benefit, so that you get what you want. And then you say, I manifested it. You know, how is it fair towards that person who actually put the work into uh, getting you what you want, but then he doesn't take credit for his work? You know, only you, because... Oh, I'm funny. I'm I'm the super powerful uh, um, human. I can do whatever. And this trend uh, with the manifestation, it's a relatively new trend. Pika, it came uh, with the secret. You know, the secret movie in two thousand six. I think that was uh, based on the book by um, what was your name? Um, here you go. If I can find her here. Yeah. A lot of people don't know the difference between right thing and not right thing. You know, they, that's why they follow anyone. Who guys, is yeah. the wrong thing to do. Let me be just straight with you here. You know, it is the wrong thing to do. There is um, the difference wishing uh, something into the existence when you are putting the work, that's fine. You know, it's, uh, um, it's healthy. But when you are taking somebody else's uh, work and present it as your own work, you know, that's called stealing. You know, this is what uh, the uh, modern interpretation of manifestation um does to you you know to does to your brain in addition to deluding yourself because oh my gosh it's a form of delusion too and the affirmations uh that people bring to them that they tell themselves they try to reprogram their brain oh, i'm strong i'm this i'm that you know i'm capable and said i'm worthy what does it even mean you're worthy you're worthy of what you know I'm worthy of what? Good things? Uh, yeah, probably they mean that, right? Because everybody wants good things for themselves. But then uh, uh, how is it affecting you? You become entitled, you know, to certain things because you think that you are owed, you deserve those certain good things. What if your actions 
don't contribute to those good things, but you are so delusional and sick to your head that you've convinced yourself that you do. But the reality shows you and tells you otherwise, no, you don't deserve those good things because you messed up with your actions. You messed up in your past. You know, you didn't do the right things to, to, to be deserving, you know, those good things, you know? <laughs> You know what I mean, Pierre? Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, it just the 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 thought process is wrong. You know, what it means when they talk and think wrong that something is wrong in their community dharma, which is the Vishuddha chakra, the throat chakra is wrong. Mm -hmm. It's 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 affecting their talking, their thinking wrong, their talking wrong. It's that they have to balance their community duties you know they have to think it right because getting a short-term benefit is not good for the for the, them and the people they are talking with both you know the short-term benefit will bring them some money or some liking or some some check marks okay they have three thousand followers but i don't know i mean but it's not good for the people or is not good for the person him or herself either yeah because they are breaking their duty their dharma which is the right thing to do they are not doing right by following this you know yeah if you are chasing the cloud um, yeah. there is nothing good in that guys no. No. nothing good in that because uh yeah all you're chasing is money i understand everybody needs money to survive yeah. But find a more legitimate Better way of making money, yeah. Yeah. you know, more legitimate activity than misleading people, please. Okay, if more people lied to each other less, we would have a better world for it. We would have less delusion, we would have yeah. less entitled women out there. You know, it mostly affects women because men are uh, forced to face the reality, yeah. You know, uh, the, the, there are no shortcuts for men. Men have to take the long run. They have to go work. They have to put in effort into something that they want to achieve. Women, on the other hand, yeah, we can just start a YouTube channel. It's so much easier for us, especially in this uh, gynocentric uh, social order that we are living right now. Women have a lot of benefits over men. Um, women are mostly on social media. And I see what women post on social media and my eyes pop out because it, it's just nuts. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so messed up. And uh, I see bigger channels. I'm not a big channel and uh, I don't know if I'll ever be because of the content that I'm putting here. People don't like uh, to hear what I have to say, you know, but at least... I know I'm doing the right thing deep inside. I understand that, yeah, I may not get to uh, so many subscribers, but uh, I don't want to mislead people, you know, the, because the cost of misleading people and misleading myself is huge. It's enormous. The future generation will have to pay for these mistakes because yeah. uh, the society that you create right now by your actions, your kids yeah. will have to pay for it. Maybe not yeah. you, yeah, but how egoistic is it to think that, oh, I'll die at some point, you know, uh, so I, 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 I will not have to deal with this mess that everybody has created. So yeah. let's just put in more mess, like Pekia was mentioning, we have to take care of our planet, we have to take care, we have to leave the good uh, side after ourselves, right? I don't care, I'll just die, you know, I'll do whatever everybody else is doing, so why to bother? Yeah, except for your sons, your daughters will have to deal with that mess that you create. Create more delusion for them. Yeah, so that reality crushes on your kids. Yeah, you will be gone. <laughs> Who cares, right? <laughs> that's, that's what it has become. They don't look at the ultimate benefits, you know, ulti ultimate uh, effects on people, what they are doing. People just, same thing, look at the politicians. They, they have made two groups, you know. And country, whole country is divided. Is it good for the country? No, it's not. Not in the long run. 
no matter what they think, they cannot justify this thought that dividing a country is good. No, it's never. It's never dividing because there's no growth when people are divided, you know. They hate each other. They don't want to do things for each other. Yeah, it's because, uh, you know, there is the right way to do it. Yeah. And everybody's convinced that their way is the right way, you know. But there is the objective truth. So yeah, somebody yeah, might be closer to the truth. Okay, yeah. that party must be the right one. Well, I, I mean, <laughs> the writer, the chances, okay, because but, it's closer to the objective truth, guys. And, but the um, chances are, when in a situation like this, the chances are that, Neither one is close to the truth. Yeah, it could be that too. Neither one, because they are they are just thinking in their own box, you know, they are not thinking out of the box. And when they when they'll start thinking out of the box, reality might be different then, but either one of them are thinking the way they are. It's possible too. Yeah. And how to find out? Ask people who are not in their parties. They'll tell them the truth. They'll tell them. This is why I'm telling you guys, uh, challenge yourself. Go and find. So the task for you <laughs> for this week would be, <laughs> let us give homework to our subscribers, right, guys? Because you're here yeah. for a reason. So here you go. Go find the posts or social uh, content creators who don't agree with you. You know, or who don't agree with the idea um, that you are you, you believe in, okay? Who don't agree with your belief system. Go find them and follow them. Just so that you open up your boundaries. Just so that you open up your viewpoint, okay? And then maybe the truth will be somewhere in between, okay? Um, don't just uh, uh, follow the people that you agree with. That's that's a mistake, okay? I follow people who challenge you in some ways. Look, I follow a lot of feminists out there too, you know, just so that I know oh, what they are talking about so that I can bring up some um, arguments that they are having, you know, into our discussions. You can't just lock up yourself and deal with people who only... Uh, tell you what you want to hear. I love uh, what Red Peel uh, has to offer uh, because those guys are very reasonable. They are very rational. But at the same time, I'm also uh, following the people who disagree with them, you know. And um, this is healthy. This is good because only in this healthy debate, uh, we need to teach ourselves again how to debate in a nice way without killing each other, you know, uh, so that you can find and determine the, the truth. Because, um, yeah, and usually, uh, well, in the red pill community, the, the, the truth is, they're pretty close, they're pretty damn close to the truth, you know, it's just hard to avoid the truth when you know it, and when somebody tells you it's otherwise, and they're using the emotional manipulations on you, you understand why, and um, look, I'm a woman, right, and I understand uh, what feminists have to say, you know, I really do, you know, I'm not a misogynist, or, uh, <laughs> you know, I love women, because I'm one of them, right, but at the same time, do we need to be more rational with our choices? Do we need to be less emotional? Hell yes. You know? We do. Because uh, all of our choices have consequences. And if we don't uh, uh, make rational choices, what, what do we expect yeah. from life? Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's... That's simple, guys. It's uh, yeah. all of your actions have consequences, and if you don't make the right actions, and trust me, there are the right actions to take. And when people tell me I didn't have a choice, you always have a choice. You do. It's just up to you. Some choices are harder to do than others, you know. And yeah. usually, women prefer easier way, you know, a shortcut. You know, yeah. if I can get something without putting uh, much effort, I'll do it. 
And then um, women don't have to mature. The moment they realize that they can get something in the easier way, just spreading their legs and, you know, <laughs> using men to get what they want. Well, tell me I'm wrong, Piqué. You yeah, know, uh, um, they don't have to mature. And you, oftentimes you see women who are in their 40s and their 50s and they think like 13-year-old girls yeah. who are so used to getting what they want uh, yeah. that uh, yeah. when the life challenges them and uh, when men don't give them what they want, they throw a hissy fit because it's the only thing they know how to do. <laughs> they haven't matured, you know, to be a woman and it's not a man's job to make them happy. Uh, take that woman, you know. It's not his job to take care of her because if she's not a proper woman, by the time she hits her, I don't know, marriage years, uh, it's not his job. He, your parents failed, you yeah. know. Your parents failed in raising you. Yeah, that's it. I mean, yeah. If she's undisciplined, if she's not willing to um, comply with the men's framework, and I mean comply literally, okay? If... Uh, she's not ready to be a wife she's worthless she, she's yeah. useless yeah you know yeah. and it's not the guy's job to change women so it's either women have to change themselves they have to work on themselves or their parents have to train them yeah. and you know ed educate directly when they are young when they are young once they are adult, it's hard to change It's anyone. harder. This is what I'm saying. It will take a lot of uh, um, work to undo all of the damage that has been created. Done already, yeah. Yeah. Not because enough time left in life to undo yeah. those things, you know. Yeah. Yeah, because women are so delusional right now. Something bad has to happen in the society for women to realize, oh, shit, we messed up. You know, we have to back off. We have to change our way of thinking, our way of doing things. You know, uh, we have to uh, be more rational. You know, yeah. and this moment is coming, guys. I can't tell you when. If I could, I would own my own island. Oh no! Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming, but you know, it's coming, but we don't know when. Time, so, yeah. The sooner for younger women, the sooner you realize this, uh, start working on yourself, you know, and uh, start uh, uh, talking to rational men and really uh, listen to what they have to say. Yeah. Listen. And I see a lot of women, uh, younger women start to wake up to this because they see what their mothers were doing. Their mothers might be single, especially uh, uh, what can a single woman teach her children? How to be single, Pique. She can't teach you how to be a married, be married yeah. woman. Only a married woman can teach a woman how to be a wife, how to be a married woman. Yeah. You know? And because she you, she's doing something which is keeping her married, you know. Yeah. Exactly. That's what, so that's uh, what she can teach, how to stay married, you know. Yeah, there are some exceptions. I'm not telling that um, you know, it's impossible. I'm the exception. My mom is divorced, okay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I have figured it out soon enough because I was analyzing. I was in psychology, guys. I was studying oh, psychology. I was yeah. always looking for reasons why, okay. Why did this happen? How did this happen? Who messed up? I was blaming dad for a very long time. My poor dad, he had to suffer a lot yeah. from me. But uh, the more I started diving in, and then I also was introduced into Rolo Tomasi, into the Red Hill yeah. community by my husband, actually. And now I'm following the guys. And the more I'm diving into that, uh, the more I realize how much delusion is out there and how actually right my dad was you know in in that situation so situation. you can do it women you can do it it's just you have to wake up sooner rather than later because right. your markets uh, sexual market value also reduces over time so the sooner you realize it the better for you right. okay the more options you have uh to, to choose from you know because uh, as the economy sinks down and we are headed there um 
it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, especially for single mothers. They just don't realize it. All of the social um, supportive programs for single mommies are going to disappear. You yeah. know, the social security might disappear too, you know? So it's going to be really, really tough times. And if you are married, you will be better off. I'm not saying it will be great, but chances are you will be more stable you know, than if you are unmarried single mother or a single woman. Yeah if, if that, yeah, if the benefits for the single mothers are gone, you'll see there is there'll be all of a sudden there are so many married families in the country, you know. Yeah. Well, good for awesome. the society, I guess, you know, and we go into these cycles. Uh the cycle yeah. it's about 80 years every time, yeah. you know. If you look at the history, it's been repeated already. It, it's going to repeat itself again. And it could be could be one of the reasons why in India more married people are there because women cannot afford to live by themselves. Exactly, woman needs a man to take care of her. This is where uh, 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 the U.S. and the Western world has to realize it. Okay, guys, so interesting helping. discussion today, and we have to wrap it up here. I'm out of time. <laughs> Thank you so much, Vikia, and thank you guys for joining us. If you like the discussion, give us a like, subscribe, and we are looking forward to hearing from you. Tell us your story and what you think about the topics that we've covered. And if you want to hear more topics, let us know in the comments, okay? We'll try to cover those topics and questions as well. Okay, have a great day, everyone, and thank you, Vikia. Thank Bye, you. Yeah. Bye. Bye.